now to the battle at the U.S.-Mexican border. Children are being separated from their parents. And while there isn't video, we want you to listen closely to part of what's happening at one detention center where these children are being taken. Bueno, aquí tenemos una orquesta. Children crying there, you heard, for their moms and dads after being separated from their parents. And those children are reportedly between 4 and 10 years old. Our DC Bureau Chief Ross Palumbo has more now on how the White House is responding to the battle at the border. Jeanine and Calvin, those sounds and images of families broken apart, prompting outrage here and in South Florida, but still the president doubling down on his immigration policy. <laughs> Desperate sobbing of immigrant children pulled from their parents. Images of immigrant families in cages. The United States will not be a migrant camp. All while the president doubles down on his immigration policy. Horrible and tough. You see about child separation. You see what's going on there. It's very strongly the Democrats' fault. The president still falsely blaming Democrats. We will not apologize for the job we do. His unapologetic Homeland Security Secretary overseeing it all, claiming she's just enforcing the law. We will enforce every law we have on the books. Madam Secretary, where is your compassion? But no answer to that, or Melania Trump's own call to govern with heart. Laura Bush calling it immoral. Michelle Obama agreeing, saying truth transcends party. This is a moral and humanitarian crisis. Every human being with a sense of compassion and decency should be outraged. It, it's outrageous. Outrage from Democrat Debbie Wasserman Schultz and Republican Mario diaz Balart saying it's totally unacceptable, unconscionable. The president does not care about children. But the White House tonight saying it is about caring for everyone. Congress needs to fix our broken immigration system. No answer, though, why the president doesn't fix it first. Sarah, why doesn't the president just pick up the phone and end this? How many children have to be hurt? No answer on that, while even Republicans say the president could end all of this with a single phone call. Now, one of those shelters is actually in Homestead there in South Florida. And tomorrow, Senator Bill Nelson will head down there to get a firsthand look. For not very late, it's from the White House. I'm Ross Palumbo. Janine and Calvin, back to you.